Hey everyone, this is Jexy with the Systems Alliance, and in this video, we're going to go over this weekend's box office. So we have to start with the obvious with The Incredibles 2, which we waited so long for, finally coming out and crushing every single estimate that was out there and breaking the opening weekend record for an animated movie of all time. The Incredibles 2 came in at 180 million this weekend, which puts it unadjusted in the top 10 of all time. And now nine of the top 10 are actually Disney films, with the one outlier being at number four, and that's Jurassic world. The previous record was held by Finding Dory, which came in at 135 million and went on to gross 482 million domestically. We'll have to see if The Incredibles 2 can top that, but all things are looking towards yes on that front. The pent-up demand over 14 years since the first Incredibles is definitely in full effect here, and for Finding Dory, it was 13 years. So The Incredibles marks the longest span from Pixar as far as the original to a sequel. I know everyone's thinking, how come they keep making so many Cars movies instead of more Incredibles movies? That's a pretty good argument. What most people don't realize is that the Cars franchise actually brings in billions of dollars from merchandise. It doesn't really bring much as far as the box office goes. They tend to be their worst movies and their worst grossing movies but overall, Disney knows how to market. Incredibles 2 brought in 51 and a half million from its overseas markets. And as most Pixar films go, they have a staggered international release. So this is actually only from 26% of its markets and it does not include the big ones like China either. The global debut is 231 and a half million with those two added together, but expect that to continue to rise rapidly as the weeks go on. Next week it opens in China and a whole bunch of other countries set to follow. In addition to setting the record for opening weekend here in the United States for a Pixar movie, The Incredibles also set records in Argentina, in Australia, and in Mexico. So things are looking pretty good on the international front as well, as far as The Incredibles to becoming the all-time worldwide top grossing Pixar film. In other news, Solo, A Star Wars Story finished fourth, bringing in 9.3 million, which isn't that bad of a drop, but considering where it started from, it doesn't look like it's going to reach even 400 million worldwide, because although it's at 193 million domestic, internationally only brought in 5.2 million over the weekend to finish above 146 million total for its international market. Worldwide, it stands just shy of 340 million with limited time left in theaters as overseas it's going out quick. Now Disney has been known to keep some of their movies in theaters, actually all their movies in theaters for longer than normal runs that other studios have, but sometimes they really give it a push. I don't know if they're going to do a huge push with Solo, but you might see them trying to get to 400 million if that's even possible in the next coming weeks. Right now it doesn't seem like it's going to, but Disney recently put pushed A Wrinkle in Time back into theaters and kept pushing the number of showtimes and everything like that to get it past 100 million domestic. Now that film may have also lost Disney money as it only made, as I just said, 100 million domestic, but internationally it did horrible, only bringing in 32 million for its entire run. So one would have to imagine that the budget is at least more than half that, in which case it may not be making any money, but who knows. Deadpool 2 finished just behind Solo with 8.8 .8 million and still going pretty strong. Deadpool 2 may not reach the original Deadpool as far as box office goes, though it does look like it's on track to beat it internationally. Domestic, it's definitely not going to hit it, and overall, worldwide, it should come a little bit short of the first one, but right now, it's a little bit short of that $700 million mark. And up next on the Marvel movie list, as far as total box office adjusted goes, is Doctor Strange and then Thor The Dark World. So it should pass those within the next couple of weeks. Avengers Infinity War officially passed $2 billion for its overall global box office. And it does look to be slowing down a little bit. Even though it passed $2 billion, I know in some other videos I said, hey, are we looking at 2.1, 2.2, even 2.3 or higher? and right now kind of looking closer to 2.1 billion. I don't think it'll reach 2.2 
but it doesn't even matter because it's already the number one Marvel movie and comic book movie of all time and one of the top just movies in general of all time. Black Panther is getting close but it might take it maybe one or even two more weeks until it hits that 700 million dollar mark for domestic gross. It's still a huge hit so we're not really worried about it but look out for Black Panther to hit 700 million before the end of its run. So let me know what you think. Do you think The Incredibles 2 will end up becoming the largest animated movie movie of all time. Personally, I definitely think so. Not only is it an amazing movie that connects with pretty much everyone, but I think it's still the best movie. The Incredibles movie series is pretty much the best that Pixar puts out. I would say even a little bit better than Toy Story. Uh, other than those two, I think it starts to drop. Finding Nemo was great. Finding Dory was okay. Still made a huge amount of money because, as I said, people waited 13 years for that one, but people waited 14 years for The Incredibles too. So let me know. Will you be seeing it? Are you going to contribute to that box office? I know I will be bringing everyone I know to go see The Incredibles too. With Solo, it looks like it's going to lose about that $300 million mark. Let me know your thoughts on that. Are you glad to see it fail so that Disney can write the ship and Lucasfilm can start producing the kind of movies that we want? Or are you sad that it's losing that money and you're afraid that Lucasfilm is going to take the franchise further in the wrong direction? Anything's possible with the studio, so let me know your thoughts on that and do you think Avengers can top 2.1 billion or do you think it could go even higher as I said Disney pushes these movies out and gives them extra legs so we'll see how that goes too look forward to reading your comments down below and we'll see you next time